Nairobi Regional Hospital is a premier level 4 hospital in Kahawa Garrison. It was developed under the CDF's mantra of mission readiness that will be achieved by ensuring the welfare of soldiers is taken care of. On 16th October 2021, during the KDF Day which is observed annually to celebrate acts of valor and gallantry by Kenyan soldiers as well as honor those that paid the ultimate price defending their motherland, former President Uhuru Kenyatta unveiled Nairobi Regional Hospital. On 7th April 2022, he inaugurated Isiolo Regional Hospital and on 1st July, he launched the Eldoret Regional Hospital respectively. The hospital was the first of more level 4 hospitals that have been constructed in different regions with the main objective of easing pressure from the Defense Forces Memorial Hospital which has been the main referral medical facility for KDF in Nairobi. The fully-fledged facility offers both inpatient and outpatient services. The outpatient services cover general consultations, accidents and emergencies, consultation clinics, diagnostic facilities, dental services and a 24-hour laboratory. To support that then, also we have a number of diagnostic uh, facilities like the radiology uh, suit or unit that houses a modern uh, uh, CT scanner. We have ultrasound services and general X-ray services including dental uh, X-rays. We also have a laboratory that works uh, 24 hours with quite a number of uh, wide uh, range of tests. The inpatient services range from general wards, maternity wards to isolation wards. We also boast of uh, a very uh, vibrant uh, uh, labor ward and maternity services tied together with the maternal and child health uh, services. And within the facility, uh, we also have 30 beds or 30 single beds we can use in case we need to isolate isolate uh, patients who require some sort of the uh, uh, nursing or isolation services the level 4 facility is accessible to the soldiers and their families with long-term plans of opening it to the public at the moment uh, we are open to the uniformed personnel and their immediate uh, dependents and when i say immediate dependents then i the published or uh, recognized uh, nuclear family members to the service personnel. Uh, that is a spouse, to bracket spouses where it's applicable, and um, uh, children uh, up to the age of 21. But we still extend that to the age of up to 25 if they have proof that they are still in college and they are still dependent on their parents. So it's open to, it's open basically to the uniformed personnel at the time, at the moment. Uh, in our mid-term projection, we think that we should be open to the veterans. In the past, they've been utilizing the deafness uh, scheme, and we are working uh, very hard to, to actually work out a modality of actually uh, incorporating our veterans and in the long term, then we shall be open to the general public, but on a referral basis, because this is actually a level four facility. So we see patients on a referral basis. In this facility, we have all the capacities that we used to previously have at our Defense Forces Memorial uh, along Bagadi Road. Um, and so that also uh, facilitated in quick uh, examination and actually diagnosing what I was dealing with that particular moment. Nilikuja Monday, hapa hivi niliadimitua on Monday and since I came, uh, there is a uh, talk of reception. It, they were so humble uh, and they were so friendly. Na venya tulikuja hapa hivi kwa uku kwa rooms, kwa wards, ya tukapata na madaktari, wakan to receive visuri pia na the nurses and uh, they have been so good to us. I think the services are so good. It's just like their motto, Utabi Bubora. This facility has not only impacted the soldier, but also the general public by creation of job opportunities and mentorship programs. I have uh, about 10 consultants who are civilian amongst the uniform personnel. Uh, and not just consultants, we have uh, 
general practitioner doctors, we have nurses, general nurses and uh, specialist nurses. We also have uh, the other cadres represented, the drivers, the cooks, and so I would say the representation uh, of the general public or the, the general civilians is, uh, is, 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 is evident in this, in the, in this facility. Uh, I can say the, the experience has been great. Uh, you know, the, the culture out there and what you find here in, you know, in the military or, or rather working in KDF, in hospitals, uh, is quite different. Here you will find the level of you know, discipline, uh, the level of commitment and professionalism is, is uh, at a very higher level. And we've been very privileged as you know, young upcoming doctors to be uh, able to benefit from such an opportunity and to be able to grow in the, in the profession. And we are very happy about, about that. And this to us is a welcome idea, uh, looking at the way we operate. We are established uh, for war or for operations, and we are very mobile in terms of training, in terms of uh, 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 mobilization for other activities. And so to run a hospital effectively, then you need a critical mass uh, with some institutional memory. And that, that's a gap now that uh, we feel that the civilians are, are having to come and fill. Uh, because with the institutional memory and because they are not as mobile as the uniform personnel, then we can assure or we can be assured of continuity of service delivery even after our own uniform personnel are deployed. The coming into operation of Nairobi Regional Hospital has seen the establishment of other regional KDF health facilities such as Isiolo Regional Hospital and Eldoret Regional Hospital. The state-of-the-art Isiolo Regional Hospital with the capacity of 105 beds is a level 4 facility that addresses the healthcare needs of service personnel, their dependents and veterans in the Upper Eastern Region which includes Isiolo, Barsabit, Mandera, Wajia, Meru, Nanyuki and Samburu counties. Because all the bed spaces are articulated with medical cases to enable critical care at the bedside. And in, in times of such, we are able to expand and be able to utilize our parking spaces as ward spaces. In July 2022, at the Moy Barracks in Eldoret, the former president launched a 150-bed capacity state-of-the-art facility the Eldoret Regional Hospital. The Level 4 Hospital features a fully equipped intensive care unit ICU, complete with a theater and a maternity unit among other departments, all primed and ready with the capacity to attend to various specialized needs. Our message is that of gratitude. We are indeed very grateful to our leadership for having granted us this facility. At first it looked like a mirage, but it has been realized. And to that, we say thank you very much to the KDF leadership. We uh, in the KDF uh, will continue uh, to give back uh, by, become, by being mission ready always and being able to, to serve uh, in whatever capacity uh, that you require us to, to do. And uh, these uh, facilities uh, being facilities that uh, have, have uplifted the morale uh, of both the troops and the families, I can assure you, Your Excellency, that our performance will be better than ever because this will allow soldiers, particularly those in the front line, to focus on the mission and not think about the families who are left behind. A healthy force equates to a protected nation.